Okay, the first thing to do when making a continuous rotation servo is to make sure your servo is working before you start uh, fiddling with it. You can use a servo tester like this, or you can use the Arduino sketch uh, that's attached uh, to this page. Okay, we'll start by peeling any stickers off. and then unscrewing the four screws on the bottom of the servo. Okay, once the screws are loose, the bottom part just slides off and the top part covering the gear just comes off as well. Take a moment, you might want to take a photo of how the gears go together because you'll have to, and you're going to take this apart and when you put it back together, that could be a pretty useful thing to know. Okay, look inside your gears and you'll see a little stopper there that keeps uh, the servo from going too far in either direction. We're going to start just by popping that gear off and snipping that piece away. Okay, we're going to move, remove all these gears. The first one will kind of pop off and the rest will just slide off and put them on a piece of paper or something because they've got uh, They've got the uh, silicone uh, stuff on them that will be a little bit uh, sticky if it gets on anything. If we look in the bottom, we'll see the circuit board and the motor. And down in the bottom, we'll see the potentiometer. Now, the boards come in a couple of different flavors. This board has the three potentiometer wires just in a row. One, two, three. Some other boards, they'll actually have through-hole connectors and they'll be in different locations on the board. If that's the case, just note where those through-hole connectors are and note which is the middle wire. The middle one is what we're, is the important one because we're going to bridge between the middle and an end and the middle and the other end. If we look on the other side, you'll see that there's two motor wires. Uh, we don't have to mess with those. If you accidentally uh, do something and, and jiggle the wires off, you can just uh, solder those back to where they were attached before. Okay, we're going to put the board into the helping hand, and we're just going to detach these three wires. For us, we don't. it's not going to be hard to remember which uh, wire is the middle because it's actually the middle connector. So we just give a little bit of pressure on the wire, touch the soldering iron to it, and it will come right off. One, two, three. We don't need the wires attached to the potentiometer, so we'll do the same thing. Just give a little bit of pressure on the wires and unsolder it there. One, two, three. Now we're going to wire in uh, some resistors onto the board to replace the potentiometer. These are 2.2K, 1 8 watt, 1%. We're going to solder two of the leads together. And we're going to snip off one of the leads. So basically they'll have one shared lead between them. That goes into the middle the middle hole. Okay, 
Okay, there's the middle lead attached. Now we've snipped off the left lead and we've put it into the solder pad that was already there. And we just attach that to the other pad. And we're going to do the same thing to the left lead. We just kind of snip it off, move it into place. If this is difficult, you might want to pre-solder the lead on the resistor, but it looks like there's plenty of uh, solder, relatively speaking, to make that connection. Now that we've got the two resistors in place, we should have the continuous motion. So let's hook up our tester and see. There's one direction. It slows down. And there's the other direction. So that's good. That means we've got the soldering done. And that's uh, pretty much uh, the hardest part that we want to get out of the way. Now on some models, you have to go and pull the potentiometer out, and there's some stops on the potentiometer, and you basically have to bust those off. Sometimes the servos you buy will have those. We've lucked out here, so we don't actually have to touch the potentiometer. If you do that, just kind of pull it out. You'll see the parts you need to bust off. Just be careful because the whole thing is not particularly sturdy and you're likely to bust your potentiometer in half, you know, in which case you've got spare parts for a servo. Okay, now all we need to do is put everything back together. It's a pretty tight fit to begin with, and most likely we don't want to run the risk of mashing things down too much more. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cut away part of the case. And you can see we just made cuts inside of the screw holes so that we can screw the case shut. And then if you pull that away, it'll either just come off or you can just uh, snip it off. Now with your case prepared, it's just a pretty simple matter of putting the pieces back in. Be careful with your motor wires because they're pretty fragile. Maybe give it a twist or two to kind of take up a little bit of slack there. And you'll just kind of fold it in. You'll kind of push your resistors down. You can see there's we don't have, uh, we want to avoid shorts. That looks, there's a little bit of a cross there. So we're going to kind of pull those apart. and pull this one over a bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. We don't want it to touch the board and short out there, but that's looking not too bad. And so basically we're just going to kind of push that down And that board will just kind of fit in at an angle. And if you can just kind of push the corners of the board, it'll just kind of slide right down into the hole. If you have problems with it, you can just use brute force and hope it doesn't bust. But just to test things out, we will, after having mashed it down in there, Oh, and we see we've got a short somewhere.
Okay, we went and uh, kind of repositioned things a bit, and now we've got rid of that short, and you can see everything's good. Okay, so now we've got to put the gears back onto the top and it's a convenient time if you've taken a picture or if you have another servo taken apart uh, that's nice too so basically we're just going to we'll see if my memory is serving me properly there's one there's two there's three, and then the top one will kind of pop on. And if we test everything out, We can see that when we put the board, when we put the cover on, that will be just about right. servo arm on there so we can see it a bit better and that looks good so, and now we'll just see if we can't fit the screws into the four screw holes Yeah, that looks like the case is good. So now let's test it out, make sure we haven't shorted anything out inside. So we plug in the power. Yeah, let's put, put our piece on top. And there we go. Left, midpoint, and right. And that's it. You can put the sticker back on if you want. But uh, that's pretty much how you make a, a continuous rotation servo.